Today we are doing a lower body focused workout that is gonna burn fat, build muscle. It's gonna challenge you, it's gonna push you, and oof, you're gonna need to call an ambulance because your glutes and your legs are gonna be dead after this. Johnny joined me halfway through the workout, so he only did one circuit, and look at how sweaty he was. Like, this workout is no joke, but I'm there with you every step of the way, okay? We're struggling together. Believe me when I tell you that I struggled, girl. This workout is the day one workout of Bootcamp, which is my new four-week workout program that is designed to burn fat and build muscle all from home. All you need is a set of dumbbells and there's minimal cardio. It is by far my favorite workout program that I've put to date and it is the workout program that you need if you want to be completely unrecognizable in four weeks because not only will your body change, but so will your mindset, the way you carry yourself, your discipline, like everything. This will impact everything and put you off to the perfect start for 2024. You showing up here today is the most incredible gift that you can give to yourself. And your time is your most valuable resource, is your most valuable asset, and I know that you don't wanna waste it. Today, I want you to put in 100% effort into this workout. So for our warm up, we're gonna start on the edge of our mat right here, and you're gonna lift those arms up, up, up to the sky, come down, walk it out to a plank, and walk it back. Lift, 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 lift. Get to your tippy toes, really roll through those ankles. Come down, walk it up. And up. And down. Blink it up. And back. Now for the next one, we're gonna add a spinal twist. So walk it out here. Now you're gonna bring a lunge. Bring a lunge. Bring a leg here to a deep lunge. And twist, rotate your back down. Walk it up. Up we go. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Did I mention that this was a boot camp class? That means, girl, you better work. This is not some gentle workout. We are starting off with a bang. Rotate. Now, use this time to get into the right mindset. You showed up here today. What do you want to get out of this workout? What are you working towards? These next 40 minutes. What is it that you wanna get out of it? That decision is totally up to you. No one can decide that but you. Let's go, keep going. We're gonna keep doing this. Just a few more. And bring it up. Okay, nice work. So now we're gonna go ahead and sit our booties down on the mat. You're gonna put into like a 90 degree position with both knees and switch. So we're just rotating side to side, keeping both sit bones on the floor. So opening up those hips, bringing mobility into our hips and our knees. Let's go side to side. Ooh. I'm already gasping for air. <laughs> now, come up to a wide stance position, toes pointed outward. You're gonna do a deep squat. Go down, go down, touch the floor if you can. Now you're gonna shift to one side and shift to the other side. You can use the hands on the floor to help you. If you can't go this low, just go as low as you can. You're shifting side to side, opening up the hips. Shift. Shift. Shift, let's go. Nice work, come on. Now, get to the middle, do a forward fold. We're gonna squat. Back to a forward fold. Squat and fold, bringing movement to our hamstrings, the back of our calves, keeping the weight in your heel when you squat down. Whew. We are focusing mostly on lower body for these mobility moves, since that is what we're doing. We're gonna do a little bit of upper body as well. So now, come up, hands up to the sky, we are going to, in this position, rotate like this, open the arms, up, 
Rotate, up. Rotate, up. Whew, like a ballerina. Let's go. Now try to make the movement even bigger. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Whew. And just a few little leg swings and we're gonna go straight into our workout. So once at a time, swing the leg up, back, up, back. Just letting your body naturally do this movement. And other side, swing it up, back, up. Whew. All right, shake it all out, shake it all out. We're gonna start in about 15 seconds. Go ahead and grab your weights, get a little sip of water, and we are about to get started with our first exercise. We're starting with a squat press up, so grab your weights in your hands. You can hold them here. We are going down to a squat press up. So we are actually going for two minutes non-stop for each exercise that's right two minutes because we're really trying to burn our booties out now if you do have a heavier weight and you want to focus more on lower body than upper body you can actually add a little bounce bounce twice press up bounce twice press up let's go when you press up keep those shoulders down away from your ears bounce up we go we got this. In between each two minute circuit, we have 30 seconds of rest. So 30 seconds to catch your breath and let your muscles recover. Bounce. Whew. Keeping the weight in your heels when you bounce, core is tight. Up. Up. When you squat, we're halfway through. When you squat, make sure your knees are not caving in like this. Make sure they are nice and stable and facing out. Oh my God, my little shoulders cannot take that anymore. <sighs> okay, it's okay, we can keep going. Come on, we're almost at the finish line. Twenty seconds left. Oh, I'm gonna have to just bounce it for the rest of the time because my upper body is not at the level of my lower body, but I'm still moving. You see how I'm unstopped? Bounce. Up we go. And come back up. Oh. So while you catch your breath, get a little bit of water, I'm gonna give you a quick little outfit, like, haul, okay? So this half zip jacket and the leggings, it's all for women's best, but the half zip jacket is like one of my favorite pieces and they have it in white. They actually have a bunch of items in white. It's kind of new and I love white. I feel like it's such a flattering color. It makes me look way more tan. We love that around here. And I do have an athlete code. This will save you some money and it will also support me. So if you want to use that, it's Vicky at checkout. I can't wait to see all of you rocking your women's best pieces. Like, oh my goodness. Wow, those, those two minutes are killer. Next we have a lunge bounce. So that now we're just focusing mostly on lower body, getting into a lunge position and staying low the whole time. So you're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And you can come up every few rounds just to give them a nice little break. And then go back into a bounce. Up. Just like that. Grab your weight and let's do this. Come on. Stepping back. Bounce. And up. We're doing a minute on each side, by the way, so. We get to rest a little bit. When we switch sides. Let's go. Bounce. So you wanna keep the weight in your front heel. And it feels, if this feels difficult, good. It's supposed to. This is supposed to challenge you. That is how you grow. You don't grow by staying comfortable. As nice as it feels. Ooh. Comfort is simply a survival mechanism that we don't really need anymore because our lives are so cushy. Like we comfortable as hell, girl. So if you wanna grow, you gotta learn to kind of enjoy the discomfort, especially if you know that results and progress are gonna follow it. Whew. Other side, 
Let's go. Go down, down, right. Up. Up. Ooh. Up. Come on. Let's go. 26 seconds left. We got this. Keeping that weight in your heel, core tight. You can lean your upper body forward a little to really feel it in your glutes. Come up. Bounce. Keep bouncing. Let's bounce for the last 10 seconds. Staying low. Come on. Ooh. And come up. Oh my gosh. Amazing work. Oh, now we're gonna be using one dumbbell for the, for the next move. Okay, so this next move, I call this the booty blaster because we are doing a jumping squat to a dumbbell squat. So what does that mean? Here, you can go ahead and jump. Oh my land. As you come down, you're grabbing the weight. Okay, course tight. Coming up to this position. Squatting and a little deadlift down. So this is like a major combo move, right? Jump, down, up, squat, down, jump. Squat, down, up. Come on. Oh, we're supposed to be alternating sides. What am I doing? Jump, up. So I'm sorry, squat, come up, squat, jump, squat, come up, squat, jump, let's go. Oh, it burns so good. Enjoy the struggle. When this workout is finished, you want to feel accomplished. You want to feel proud. There's absolutely no better feeling than that. I call this the booty shredder because, well, it builds incredible muscle and it also burns fat like crazy. Okay. Up, squat, Ooh. down, up, come on. Oh my gosh, please send an ambulance. My glutes are dying. Up, down, squat, come on. You are strong, you are fierce. We're gonna finish strong. Push past that discomfort. Push past your limitations, push past the voice in your head that's telling you that you can't do it. Oh, last one, come on. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I've got good news for you. Good news. We are gonna give our thighs a break. And we're gonna be doing dumbbells with fire hydrants. So go ahead and grab your dumbbell. Did you hear what I said? I meant to say fire hydrants with dumbbells. You're gonna put your dumbbell behind your knee like this. Make sure you're nice and stable. You can also use a resistance band if you have one. And we're going out to the side back in, really trying to burn out our glutes. So one minute of fire hydrants on each side. Okay, so enjoy this time. We're on all, we're on all our, whoa. we are on all, we, <laughs> the English language has left the building. We are on all fours. We are resting right now. We're not jumping, we're not using our thighs. We're using our glutes only. So, take a second to catch your breath. Enjoy this time. Whew. Make the most out of it. Keep your core tight. Keep your hips facing the ground. So don't let them open up to the side. You're facing the ground, okay? Are you feeling your glutes work here? And go ahead and switch it to the other side. So you're just gonna 
put the dumbbell behind the other knee. Once you're ready, let's get it. Out to the side, back down. Let's go. Bringing that knee up, driving it out away from your body and coming back. Isolating the glutes a bit to make sure we really work them. Oh my gosh. Oh. Keep your core tight, keep your shoulders square to the floor. Move your upper body as little as possible. That is your goal here. Ready? 10 more seconds. Keep pushing. You got this. <sighs> Come down. All right, well, I've got more good news. The next one is also no jumping. Oh. <sighs> Holy moly, walk on only. I'm so sweaty. The next one is also no jumping. We're doing deadlift for two minutes straight. In the beginning, it might feel maybe a little bit too easy, but I promise you, as you keep going, you will feel the burn. So, traditional stiff leg deadlift. Your shoulders are pinched together, core is tight. You are imagining that your hips are the ones hinging back. And notice how my weights follow the lines of my legs. Now, as you come up, you're coming up slow, press, get through the heels. You squeeze your glutes as you come up. Like towards the top, I like shake a little bit. That's how much I'm feeding it. Your back stays as neutral as possible. So see from the side here how it looks. Sit those hips back and up. And I think two minutes is actually the perfect amount of time to do this exercise, just because with this one, when you go nice and slow, you're really keeping the glutes under tension. And I feel like it's more challenging than speeding through it. So we need these two minutes to really get our reps in. Down. Sit back and up. Ooh, let's go. Ooh. Ah, you got this. We are hitting our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back, the whole shebang here. Keep the shoulder blades pinched together and eat shoulders down away from your ears. Your neck is neutral, so don't crank your head up. Keep it neutral. Sit back. And up. Sit back. Up. Almost done. 15 more seconds. Oh. Oh my God. All right, and for our last exercise, you're gonna drop the dumbbells. We're gonna end on a little banger. This is our last exercise in the circuit, by the way. And we rest two minutes, and we're doing this all over again from the tippity top, and you're done. Like, that's it, we're halfway through. You got this. So, we are doing a plank runner, so a jump squat. So we're gonna do four plank runners. Here, one, two, three, four. Into a squat, back down to a plank, okay? Two minutes straight, push yourself, let's go. One, two, three, four. Plank. I mean, squat. One, two, four. Come on, speed it up. Faster. Come on. Let's go. The faster you go, the more you're getting out of this. This is the last little bit where we are burning. Those last few. Inches of stubborn fat, okay? <sighs> Can I just hang out here for a while? <sighs> okay, it's okay. Keep going. <sighs> One, two, three. Oh. oh my god, I took off like a rocket and I burnt out. Come on. Ooh. 
We got this. This is where you are being tested. This is where you show your resolve, your determination. Come on, let's go. Oh. For all of us that have had a very chill December without working out, I bet we're feeling it now because that was me as hell. Okay, let's go. Last 15 seconds, give it all you've got. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot. I can't even speak right now. Okay. Take two minutes. Okay. Take two minutes to gather yourself. Holy crap. I'm dead. Get some water. Don't drink too, too much because you don't want to be super full of water for the next round. But get a little bit of water. Catch your breath. Whew. Try to stay moving so you stay warm. And I'll see you back here on the mat to take it from the tippity top, baby.